Welcome! My name is Peter Stamfest and I would like to show you a tool that I've recently written. It's called MEO, which stands for Multiple iPairs Only. It is a tool to use public key cryptography in order to encrypt information for a group of people that can later only be decrypted by, and that's upon you to decide, either all of them together or by a suitable sized subgroup of those people or by any one of them. An application for this would, for example, be that you could enforce that sensitive, personalized data can only be accessed by two people together in order to implement the Four Eyes principle. Encryption is done using a clever combination of a couple of RSA public keys. Uh, it can be done using a graphical user interface, which is currently available for Windows and Linux, or using a command line tool for batch processing. Decryption can only be done when a suitable number of holders of private keys come together. They use a GUI tool to decrypt the information again. In fact, encryption and decryption can be done using the same tool. In this video, I will show you both encryption and decryption. Public keys, um, the public key cryptography part of MEO can use either PKCS12 files or crypto hardware for storage of private keys. Public keys are handled by using certificates. I will now show you how encryption and decryption is done using MEO. This is the main window of MEO. It is used for decrypting uh, information, but before we can decrypt, we have to encrypt. I'm starting the encryption wizard now. Um, first of all, I have to select a file I want to encrypt. I have prepared a secret text file. I'm selecting it. And it gets added to the wizard. Now you may ask what's so secret about this text file. I'll show you, but don't tell anybody. As you can see, this is some really, really secret information that I don't want to get into the wrong hands. Um, next step would be to select an output directory where MEO files are finally put. I'm selecting this prepared out directory. Um, I can proceed with the wizard now. Um, it asks me to add public keys um, and they come in the form of certificates. I'm selecting the certificates of Alice, Bob and Carol here and I want that two of them together can access the information so that's why I'm setting the required number of attendees to two. Proceeding with the wizard, um, I'm ending up on, on this page where I could um, select some advanced uh, configuration, but we're just going to skip this step and um, go to the last page of the wizard. Um, I'm finishing the encryption wizard, pressing the button and it has already been done. Let's have a look at the out directory that we've selected. Here we can find a newly created MEO file, which is 2.2 kilobytes in size. Decryption is done using the decryption window. The encryption step has already put uh, the generated MEO file into the decryption part. Um, what we can see here now is that the tool doesn't know anything about the MEO file. All it knows is the size of it. What we currently know is that nobody is around yet to decrypt the information, which means that we even don't know the required number of attendees to have around and we don't know the total number of attendees um, that were used to generate the MEO file. Um, in order to change this I have to add users. This is what this button is for, pressing it. And now I can select if I want to uh, use uh, file based or token based um, key. I'm selecting the token based key um, oh, there are no keys or no, no tokens available, so, ah, yeah, that's because there is no token plugged in. I'm changing that right now. Ah, we have Bob's token available now. I'm selecting that token. I'm entering the password. Proceeding with the wizard. 
and what we can see now that we now have got one attendee, one user uh, out of two required available out of a total of three possible attendees. I'm adding the next user again I can choose file based or token based I'm selecting again a token oh Bob's token is still plugged in I'm unplugging it I'm plugging in another token this time it's the token of Carol select the token enter the password the pin proceed with the wizard we're waiting for the information to be processed and now we can see that two out of two required attendees are available and the status has changed to ready in order to actually do the decryption we have to select an output directory I'm choosing the out directory again where we currently only have the MAO file in there and now I can start to process this file the status has already changed to OK which means that we should now have a file called secret.txt in the output directory which is just what we find its size is 269 bytes and let's have a look at its content ah here the secret information is there again if you think that you could be interested in this tool then just have a look at its website or you can actually download it here you can see the address of MEO. Thanks for watching. Bye.